Alrighty, folks. Happy Sunday to you. Coming back, back, back from the office. Yep, I'm still, still kind of on lockdown, and I just thought I'd, I'd uh, do a vlog here uh, while I'm fresh in the morning and not too crippled and grumpy. So um, we'll get to some news here and some stuff we were going to talk about here last week. But first, we'll go through some comments. Um, and hey, real quick, all of you people, and there's a few of you, I think I probably know who you are, but the few of you that give me a thumbs up and, and like my videos, I appreciate you. Thank you so much. I really do. I really thank you. Thanks for taking the time to do that for me. <laughs> um, alrighty, who we got here? So... JP was t saying, uh, don't be afraid to take some time off and da-da-da, exercises or whatever. You know what, man? I'm not afraid. I've been locked. I've been up in the house for two weeks now. We did try to work the other day, and it kind of set me back to square one. But uh, uh, I think I've been in the house too long, man. i got to get out and do something. So we're just waiting on a phone call to hopefully this week to come in from a doctor to tell me I'm not gonna kill myself or something so new subscriber mind game 2020 thank you I appreciate you being here uh, I was talking to Andrew about something there <clears throat> Andrews uh well, he's working I'd be interesting to know I think it'd be interesting to know what he's what his rates are down there what he's making if you're listening Andrew what are they like you don't have to put it out there Shoot me a message or something if you can. TankerMonkey15 at Gmail. All right, moving on. Jimmy, Jimmy Beasley. Thanks for the comment, man. Uh, teaching that boy to stay in school. Yeah, something like that. That or how to how to be a worker or something. I gotta, gotta do something with the kids, right? I actually like having the boy out there. Um, I, I, I anticipate over the next couple of years that he's actually driving the truck. Um, and by the time he gets out of school to be able to run that truck and, you know, make, make the money, not that I want him to, but that he can. So Jake, thanks, Jimmy. Appreciate that. Um, Henry, Bob, thank you. Uh, he's asking what, what I did to myself. Well, it, who knows, uh, so many injuries over the years and, I think it's just taking its toll, you know. Uh, Digital Wildcatters, shout out to them. Kenny, Kenny at Home on the Road, thank you. Thanks for watching, man. Uh, I should probably, I should probably shoot you a text here this week. I haven't because I've just been kind of. Originally, I was YouTubed out. I was just kind of technologyed out for a while. I just get too much kind of overload, and then all this happened here, and I've been feeling myself so. Oil rig jobs. <laughs> I might have just skipped over you on that on that on that one video. Sorry about that, man. Um, um, I was first off trying to stick to truck drivers, and then it kind of blended into just people doing oil field YouTube stuff on a regular basis. So I don't know. I think I I got to redo that because honestly. The stuff I've been seeing FU Money do is just kind of not related, so I should probably take him off and move some people up. And speaking of that, J Trades, I do agree that I completely should have put J Trades in there. J Trades has a lot of videos about being aroused about in the oil field and stuff, and new new people coming in and this and that and the other thing. So I think we'll we'll redo that in the future. But thanks. Good to see you. Well, great job, man. JP. Um, JP is asking tankermonkey.com. Yes, Tanker Monkey is not up yet. It's it's almost there. It's close. I mean, it's taken so long. We're just waiting on a few more things to be done. And then I'm always adding to it, which makes it difficult. Combined with the fact that I suck at um, editing websites and stuff on a computer right now I'm doing it on myself I probably shouldn't have but we're looking at another week or two but only because I want it to be cool I don't want it to be 
douchey. It's going to be good. Uh, or I won't put it up. So. <laughs> Thanks, J JP. Uh, well, Rick job about not making the list. Well, hang on a week or two, maybe. Well, <laughs> uh, I think that might be about it. Henry Bob again. Thank you. Firebird, I know you're out there, so shout out to you. Uh, new subscriber, LX, whoever you are, LX, thank you for being here. Truck City TV, well, I think we know who that is. Talking about BIA 14. Yep, anybody who was around back then knows what that road was like, so. New subscriber, Sal... STR, so thank you so for being here. Appreciate you. <clears throat> Cal and Swag commented, yep, the Dems are about to tax the mess out of fuel. Green New Deal's coming. We're going to get into some of that here in a minute, but thank you for your comment. I really appreciate it. Thanks for for being a part of the channel. I, I, really, guys, if you, if you leave me a comment, I, especially now, being locked up in the house, I appreciate it very much. It gives me something to interact with you. Had a little talk with time lapse over the last week. <laughs> we had a little chat. Uh, I'll just leave it at that. The first video I made might have upset him. I'm not sure. Um, but it was really cool to back and forth with him a little bit. Do, 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 do. I don't know what this one is. I think we're getting about to the end here. Comments. So, Bill, Bill Moran, I ain't seen you in a while. Uh, yeah, asking about the Keystone. We're going to get into that in just a second. How's it looking for me? About the same. Not much has changed. I did get a confirmation on some work, on when the work's coming back. It's been pushed back, so now it's even worse. So, uh, for me, right now, Bill, I think I've been sending you updates on emails and stuff. It's about the same. Ain't hey, nothing really changed. It isn't good. I can run right now. We could go run probably every day for break even. And I'm just not the run for break even kind of guy right now. So thanks, Bill. Thank you for your comment, man. And I don't know how far I'm going to go back here, but I think that's about it. I think that's about it. All right. Let's, uh, let's move on here. Okay, so I guess while we got that fresh in our minds, Bill was asking about the whole the Keystone thing, the, the pipeline, the, the administration doing everything they're doing. Uh, the Keystone thing was a mess. Uh, that's going to hurt a lot of people. Um, the whole federal land thing. Everybody the next day on the internet, the internet was going crazy, but they're shutting the reservation down. They're shutting the reservation down. No, the reservations are safe. I don't know if it's because the next day the the Ute tribes out of Utah and, and wherever threw a fit, but uh, the reservations, tribal lands are safe. Nothing's going to change there, as far as I know. Um, the DAPL, which is our Dakota Access Pipeline, is how we get all of our oil to market, or a large part of it has been under attack since day one that is nothing has changed there so far it's still in operation but all the pipelines are under attack and it's not going to affect right now the way production is going or, or, or anything uh, it might affect expansion when the price comes back and you know because if there's a transportation issue there's a there's a dollar or two differential in, in the price because of how you ship it but for the time being, it's it's not affecting anything. Um, my area where I'm at right now is already, we're already in the position we're in, nothing's really changing. So as far as um, the federal lands being affected, I think that the far western part of the Permian, New Mexico is gonna be the greatly, the greatly greatest affected. Uh, so they're, about one, almost one third, I'd say, of, that, of the Permian Basins in New Mexico. And I'm unsure of how much of that is on federal land, but a lot of it. So I think there's going to be some issues down there. Not sure about the East Coast, you know, uh, Pennsylvania, Ohio, any of that. But uh, as far as most of Texas, the Eagle Fur and all that, and up here in the Bakken, we're pretty good. 
looking pretty good. And uh, uh, Greg Abbott was on the news. So Greg Abbott down in Texas was in Midland. He held a conference, and he's going right back to what he what he did back in Obama's day. And he'll just he he's saying signed an executive order that uh, you know they'll sue the government and fight them every step of the way that they start messing with their oil production. So and. Bergam and Kramer up here in North Dakota are kind of doing something similar, but I used to have a high opinion of those two. And after the past two years, I think they're just a bunch of clowns, but we'll see what happens. We'll see if they fight for us or not. So, and some, some other news, big news uh, up here in the Bakken anyway, Interplus buys Bruin for 465 million. I guess this is some sort of debt for equity swap. That's why the numbers are so off. Uh, so to put this in perspective, uh, Bruin back in 2017 bought Halcon for 1.4 billion. Okay, and then today it gets bought by Interplus for 465 million, 150,000 acres leases, a um, hundred drilled, and uncompleted, and puds. You know, um, so between the uncompleted wells. And the uh, not drilled wells, they have 100, 100 pads sitting there ready to be done. So, I mean, it's a pretty big deal. I guess uh, going forward, 2021's CapEx is somewhere between 330, 380 million. Interplus is just poised to take off. So uh, that's some big news up here. If you're up here, uh, if you're working on the res, I think we all know who does work for Interplus. If you're working for them, you, you have a bright future. So, All right, what else we got here for... Uh, for oil field news, I guess for if we stay up here in the Bakken, focused on that right now, the next thing I'd like to get into is Conoco. Conoco is probably the best, Conoco Burlington Resources, probably the best poised for expansion. Um, they have the, the most amount of acreage that's, uh, that's available for expansion, right? And if you remember a while back when I was talking about Jericho um, hiring for company drivers, and I it was around that time when Jericho moved down here from up north. Um, kind of got our attention. We're like, what's Jericho doing? What's Conoco doing? Because Jericho does all Conoco's work. Well, if Conoco takes off and, and gets on a roll with, you know, um, starts drilling again, and, and Jericho's going to be the place for company drivers to go. And I'm, I'm, I'm just forecasting that right now. We'll see if I'm right or not. But uh, any of you guys looking to come up here and be a company driver, Keep in mind, mark my words, Jericho. All right, so where was I? Uh, uh, oh, other oil field news. Elon Musk, SpaceX. What do you think they're doing? <laughs> All right, so last, was it last week? I think it was last week. I don't know if you guys seen this in the news or not, but he bought a drilling outfit, and they're going to be down in the Eagle Ford in Texas drilling for gas. And they're going to use the methane, which is natural gas, for their space program. So, uh, interesting, interesting that he would do that, being how the product is so cheap anyway. Uh, it's so affordable. Um, I can't imagine him using all that expenditure to get it when it could be purchased, when it can be bought for rather cheap. I don't know. I'm not Elon Musk. I'm not as smart as that guy. So, what do I know? But... That's an interesting move. Um, that's about it for news this week. Um, a lot of interesting stuff though. Keep an eye on Air Plus. Keep an eye on Jericho. Keep an eye on Conoco. Um, we'll keep an eye on what's happening here with everything. So far, I think we're gonna be somewhat unaffected. Um, and I and a lot of other people are looking for a, a big rebound in price here. Um, come spring. Speaking of that, I did get confirmation, okay? So I spoke to the comp the main company I'm leased on to that I'm planning on reworking how I run this year and specifically running for them. Um, they pushed back the start date uh, for our 15 pads down here that we're going to do and it was the middle of March and now it's looking more like maybe April, so same old news. Uh, but at least we got a confirmation that it's happening. I will be scheduled to be on it. I will be, uh, I will be set up on that. Hopefully, we'll see how that goes. I've been there, done that. Uh, and the rates, I think we'll have to save that for another conversation, man. Uh, 
will the rates come back? Like I said, if you're just a single owner operator, no family, no kids, got nothing to do but live in your truck and work, you can go up north right now. Should I say on the res? Maybe on the res. And live in your truck and run your truck dang near 24 seven and make pretty good money. But if you're the kind of guy like me that owns your own business, owns your truck, whatever, well, I guess you would be if you're doing that. But if, you, if, you, if you're calculating every hour to the truck and what it's making, if you're the kind of guy that gets frustrated about your truck not making a whole lot of money per hour, you're, it's not, it's going to piss you off. So. <laughs> but there's work. There's work up there. Uh, not a whole lot of word about people hiring up there or looking for more drivers, but it can be done. So, Alrighty, folks, that's all I got. That's the news this week. Um, I just wanted to get a little vlog day out to you, say hi to y'all, go through some comments. And uh, here again, if you if you throw a comment down there or hit the smash button, man, thank you. I appreciate it. It means a lot to me. So, righty, folks, y'all be blessed. We'll see you soon.